Important customer and vendor master data and also business partner data under S4HANA can be altered by employees. And sometimes this may lead to wrong data being saved. Because of that, we can utilize the so-called 4i principle. So a change of a sensitive field is checked by another employee before it is finally saved. Let's actually inspect this in the system now. Before we do so, please subscribe to the channel to not miss any more videos. We navigate to transaction code XK03 to inspect one vendor. Over here, I selected the address data in the general view. Let's just hit enter. Let's say that for any reason, I do not want the name field over here to be changed without somebody else checking my change first. So therefore, let's mark this field, click on F1 on your keyboard, then go to technical information and over here you will find the field name. So this is the technical name of the field. We will copy that, name one and insert it over here in our notes. Next off, we're going to customizing. Next, we're going to the customizing. I wrote you down the path over here so you can pause the video as well, but we'll do it slowly. So let's go back and to slash n spro, that's slash n spro, click on sub reference img, click on sub reference img, go to financial accounting in brackets new. If you are in an ECC environment, if you are in an s environment, you will only find one financial accounting folder. Let's click on this one, go to accounts receivable and accounts payable, then to vendor accounts. By the way, I will show the example with the vendor, but it works the same way with a the customer. Then go to master data, go to preparation for creating vendor master data. And down below you will find a row called define sensitive fields for dual control in brackets vendor. Click on this one. Now we will provide a new entry that is subject to our sensitive field check. So click on new entries. Now we need to search for the field that we just copied. So click on this button over here, navigate to the find button, insert the field name. So in our case, name one, execute. And here you can see the field. It's in table ADRC and the field name is name one. So double click on this one, then save. Now it's time to change the field. So we navigate back to transaction code slash n xk02. That's slash n xk02. We select our vendor and the address data. And then let's change the field and just include something like x, y, z and try to save. We get an information message that the change to the general data must be confirmed. We can continue and you see that the changes have been saved. However, our account over here, our vendor account is blocked for any kind of payments. It will be released once the second employee approves the change. So therefore we log in with another user and navigate to transaction code FK08. That's FK08. And by the way, it would be FD08 respectively for customers. We insert our vendor and you can see a status confirmation to be confirmed. Let's actually first inspect the change to the sensitive field. So click on this button. You can see name one was changed. Double click on this one. And we can see that the old value, this is a test vendor was changed to this is a test vendor. X, Y, Z. As this is fine, let's navigate back. And here we could then actually confirm or refuse. In this case, we will confirm. So we click on confirm and then save. Now the changes will take effect and we can actually continue working with the vendor. By the way, the same also counts for the business partner under s So let's actually inspect one business partner via transaction code slash NBP, that's slash NBP, insert a number. This is our example. And over here, I will now go in the change mode. I will change the name. Then I will save and you can see again the information message changes for vendor have not yet been confirmed. So you can see here this is important. We will take the vendor number, meaning that if our business partner number in this case, you can see it, it deviates from the vendor number, we would still go with the vendor number to confirm or reject the changes. Yeah, and this marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe to the channel to not miss any more content and activate the bell. See you next time.